Howdy guys and welcome back to yet another video. On this one we're going to be painting uh, my canopy which I just bought for my Ranger. That's it right there. So what we're going to do guys is basically get rid of all the glass out of it. As you can see I've just removed uh, the back door. And what we're going to do is start sanding it down because it's got a very textured finish. And I don't want to paint it in a colour shift pearl and then have the pearl orientate all weird because it's on a textured surface. It's not going to match the rest of the car, so I thought I'd make a video and show you how I'm going to go about sanding it smooth, priming it and painting it. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we managed to get all the glass out of the canopy. Um, so all that's really left to do now is to get an air blower, blow all the dirt out um, so we can actually get some two inch tape and mask up the black uh, mold around where the window goes so we prevent it um, from getting scratched and damaged during the prep process. Um, so the glass on the front will be left in there and I'll just mask it up to like, protect it and also to stop uh, primer and paint going on those parts. Um, I could take it out but it's no real point, you're never going to see it and um, I'm not overly too worried about the textured finish on the canopy on the inside. Um, the only main areas we will be sanding and smoothing, smoothing out um, will be basically everywhere that you see when the doors are open, when they're shut. Um, along the front edge, um, I think what I'll do is I'll just smoothen all this off, all down here. The areas that you really see, like you don't see any of that in there when the canopy's on the ute. So um, in regards to the jams, yeah, I'm just gonna take it up to pretty much um, as much as you can see when uh, the canopy doors are open. Um, and same with the boot jams here, or oh, sorry, the back door jams as well. I'm gonna sand all that nice and smooth. So if you're wondering what sandpapers will I be using to do that, well, I've got a amazing brand called Kovacs. They're extremely popular. If you guys follow other Instagrammers and YouTubers, you know that the Kovacs products are all over the world um, and they're fantastic. Like I've been using it um, on the Ranger. I sanded the whole Ranger down, repaired it all with the Kovacs products. Our detailer here at work also uses all the Kovacs sandpapers and stuff for the detailing and I love using it for all the prep work and uh, repairs that I do in my videos. So if you'd like more information about the Kovacs products, uh, there'll be links down in the video's description uh, where you can check more of them out. So with that said, uh, my favorite um, material here is this diamond braid uh, cut. So it's actually got diamond pieces on it, uh, which actually sand down the surface incredibly quickly, saving you on materials and time. So um, big shout out to Kovacs for supplying me uh, with these and uh, spray blast and inspect. Um, you guys are all legends. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's get the uh, 3M dustless sanding machine all ready to go and uh, let's get it all prepped up. So the canopy is all masked up, it's all ready to rock and roll. Um, so here we've got Dino Paints HS Primer in grey. Um, we've got a medium speed hardener and a medium speed reducer for that. Um, so we'll take the lid off, give it a good stir. Uh, the ratio for this, if you're interested, is four to one. Um, up to one part of reducer. Depending on what you're doing, you can use it as a surfacer. I won't be using it as a surfacer. I will be using it as a high yield primer. So uh, the ratio for that will be about four to one to 10% of reducer. 
I will be using a 1.7 mil Wacom uh, X light for the priming. Um, yeah, with that said, let's mix it up and let's start spraying. There you go guys, it's all primed up. So what we're gonna do now is give it a uh, guide coat with some uh, black base coat. And then we're gonna orbital sand it all down with 400 grit um, and then 800 grit around all the window edges and around where it's hard to get an orbital sander. Uh, and then yeah, we're all done and uh, we'll throw it in the booth. Started jumping, what a day Swear to God I need it, now I can't afford to wait I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait Told him this would happen, now we not a minute late Seen him down bad, now they tryna hate Same boy try to hit me for the rage Got a man, now they coming with a blaze Try the numbers, damn, I thought I'm getting paid I'm a Don, just like the Perrier It's one time when I'm looking at a face On the low, like I'm pushing up the base Told him come down there Alrighty guys, so here's our color. We've got our pure black, which is the base for the color shift. Um, the darker the color ground coat, the more vibrant the color shift will be. Now, I did use a black base over the Ranger, over the whole Ranger, um, so uh, that's what we will be replicating again on this canopy. So I've done uh, two coats of black, three and a half coats of the color shift. So I will be replicating that so it looks the same as the rest of the car. The only difference will be is the clear coat. Um, we will be using the Speeds Hacker 8025 um, with the 3230 slow hardener. Um, yeah, it's an awesome clear. I quite like it. Um, yeah, uh, it's actually, a clear coat which you don't need to like really hammer on like a medium coat like a medium closed coat let it flash off for five minutes bang another one on exactly the same and i'm telling you you can get some amazing finishes with that clear uh it's what i use every day here at work it's it's bloody fantastic um but yeah in regards to the guns that i'll be using guys if you're interested uh for the clear i'll be using my um my carbonio 360 light um, this is the limited edition version, hence the graphic. Uh, it's in 1.3. Um, I've also got a 1.3 Slim Combat Killer here. This is the Halo version, so it's the newer version of the Slim Combats. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much a HTE, but they changed the name to Halo. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. 1.3 also. I'll put the gun setups on the screen as I'm painting. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's mix up some color and hit it.
get so, but for now, I need a shot on a chase. My girl need a wine in the state. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. I told them I need my pay. I need my 50 for tax. I need a shot on a chase. My girl need a wine in the state. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. Wavy through the middle there. Oh, well, it's on top. You don't see it. <laughs> Other than that, the 6025 uh, clear. Is it 80, 8025, 6025? I can't remember now. Uh, it is the it is the the 8025. 8025 clear. Uh, it's nice. The lays down is really nice. Um, fortunately, due to the roof being so ripply, I uh, can't really show you how good it looks but on the side you can see that it like lays down so good Whoop, out of focus but yeah it's not bad clear so yeah use the slow hardener with that uh, it's got two coats on it and yeah it looks really nice anyway that sums up this video guys hope you've all enjoyed the canopy and uh, we've actually got uh, some cool content coming up uh, very shortly. Actually, um, we've got um, we've got a Gemini to do a custom respray on. So uh, the boss actually gave uh, all three of us painters a respray to do over the holiday break. Uh, one of the painters painted this S15. Uh, another one painted this HQ. I think it is HQ. Uh, this is in a candy, um, so I've got a, uh, a candy base coat to do. Won't show you too much of that one, um, or the S15, but... So here is the Gemini. So this is going... I um, can't think what it's called now. Um, but the paint's by Hammer. So that's what it was originally painted in. Um, so we will be painting it in this colour. I think it's called Jesse Pink, I think it is. It's a candy base coat anyway. So, um, yeah, I'll be starting on the prep work on this um, very shortly, actually. I'm gonna start filming, um, yeah, all the prep work on it and um, hoping that it's nice and straight because I kind of wanted to get it in and get it painted uh, this week. So, it is, uh, what day is it today? It is. Uh, Monday the 1st, Happy New Year. So I want to have it done by maybe the 7th. So I've got six days to yeah, prep it all up. Um, so I think um, the only real thing I really picked up on it was there's a bit of a scratch there. So we'll have to hopefully sand all that out. If not, we'll have to uh, repair it. Uh, the body does look pretty straight, but like most things you don't find out how straight it is until you uh, put a block on it and start blocking it um, one thing that I can well straight away notice is this body line here looks pretty sharp and then it runs down I don't know whether it's just the color of the yeah like the line just it's really sharp on the quarters and then it goes to nothing on the door like there's nothing there look at that and there's hectic runs all over that quarter um, but yeah, so the line, I don't know whether the doors were like repaired off the car, but um, that, bo that body line's way too sharp on that quarter. I wonder what this side's like. Yeah, see how rounded this side is. So we're gonna have to knock uh, the top off that line and try and get it pretty similar to the rest of the car. Uh, I think the owner on this one's pretty fussy, so uh, I doubt that I'll even get it done in six days if I was to be quite honest with you, just looking at this now. Um, the line on the door um, is like pretty sharp through there, eh? But then it's pretty rounded on the quarter. So it looks like we're going to have to spend a little bit more time on this than I originally thought. It's the first time really looking at it, really. But anyway, that's all fun and games, isn't it? It's all fun and games. <laughs> 
But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you on the next video where we start the Gemini. Cheers. My phone started jumping, what a day. Swear to God, I need it now, I can't afford to wait. I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait. Told him this would happen, now we not a minute late. Seen him down bad, now they tryna hate. Same one shot to hit me for the race.